what is a brake hub assembly or what is a uh, wheel hub assembly for and how do you change it? These are great questions we get asked all the time. A hub assembly is nothing more than a wheel bearing of, like the wheel bearings of old. To change it, we have to first remove the brake caliper. Now look at this pro move right here. Chewy's not going to let that brake caliper hang on that brake hose. Brake hoses do not intend to hold weight, so watch him go here. There, he took care of that. Next, we're going to remove the brake rotor. Brake rotor comes off. Check and make sure that you're replacing the right part. Right here, he's going to check and make sure that that is the one that we're needing to replace. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? Compare it to the other one to know what a known good one feels like. Now, we're going to remove those bolts. Just like that. Boom, off with the old. On with the new. Now keep in mind, Chewy is on time lapsed. He's pretty darn fast, but not quite this fast. Now here comes, coming up on pro move number two. Always look up the torque specs. He's got the tablet out, he looked them up. Now he's the torque wrench. Torque those babies down. Very nicely done, Chewy. Reinstalling the brake rotor. Always make sure you put that little retaining bolt back on there. That's another thing we find missing a lot. And now the brake rotors and calipers, the caliper goes back on the brake rotor. Always a good idea to put a little Loctite on those uh, caliper bolts. And even if you use an impact, always go back with a big, uh, uh, something you got leverage on like Chewy just did. Make sure that they didn't come off. On with the tire. Chewy made that tire look light, didn't he? And remember the last but not least, always, always, always torque the lug nuts. Hope you enjoyed this from b, &B Automotive, where we treat you like family. Y'all take care.